Hey, what's up everyone? So, I used to be into Bitcoin mining uh, a few years ago, back in 2013, I believe, and I was uh, mining with, it was when it was still possible to mine with GPUs, so that was cool. And um, then I eventually upgraded and got some of these little block eruptor things and some other ASICs, which are dedicated things just for Bitcoin mining. Uh, I've since, I've long since uh, gotten out of the mining game, but I did happen to actually make a little bit of money at it at the time. But I sold everything except for that. And now that Bitcoin is in the news again because it has surpassed $4,000 US, I thought it'd be fun to make this little thing I've been thinking about for a while. So it's a little Bitcoin lottery machine basically. And you can build one yourself too for not that much money. Anyways, let's build it and then I will give an explanation on how it works. So let's go. Okay, it is assembled, and I 3D printed the body. It's kind of a little bit of an overkill for this, but uh, I don't have a laser cutter, and it was the best way to do it. And those files will be available on Thingiverse as well. So what's going on here is we've got the Raspberry Pi, the block eruptor, the fan's not actually on right now, and uh, some NeoPixels in the front here. And I wrote a simple Python script that works with CG Miner, which is a program that's for mining. You'll have to learn about that if you're going to do that. And it reads the information from it. And the light you're seeing now is actually a representation of what block it's working on right now. So the block is a number, um, a hex value that's 64 characters long and those LEDs are representing kind of in eight LEDs the color of the block. When the program detects a new block it runs an animation and checks to see if you're the one to discover the last one. There's a winning animation and a losing animation. You probably will never see the winning animation because it's really unlikely that you'll ever discover a block. Just like the real lottery. So this is where the math comes in. This Raspberry Pi uses very little energy, about five and a half watts. And if you calculate that over the course of a year, you'll find that it costs about seven dollars to run for the entire year. That's including the block eruptor and the LEDs. And that's at 14 cents kilowatt hour where I'm living here. So you can change those calculations for where you are. Now, if you imagine that you were to buy a lottery ticket with the comparable amount, so 12 and a half bitcoins right now, let's say it's $4,000 US, which is around $50,000 US. So those scratch tickets, scratch tickets provide around $50,000. On average, around here, those scratch tickets are $3 each. So that would be like buying two of those scratch tickets every year, except this is attempting to solve a block every 20 minutes. So it's like you're getting one of those scratch tickets every 20 minutes. Now the probability is much lower that you would actually solve a block. So at the current Bitcoin difficulty, your odds of finding a block for each block is 1 in 137 million. And 
Looking online, it looks like the odds of winning a $50,000 scratch ticket is 1 in 600,000. But you only get two of those a year for the $7. This, you get one every 20 minutes for the entire year. <laughs> I've got so many tickets I can't lose. The first number is 17. No! You can still win some money if you have five out of six. Woohoo! And the second number is three. No! So over the course of a year, and spending the same amount of money, because that's what we're comparing, $7, the probability of finding a block and technically winning $50,000 is 0.019%. And compared to buying two scratch tickets over the course of a year, which the probability of winning is 0.0003%. So you have a much higher chance of finding a block than you do by buying two scratch tickets and trying to win $50,000 that way. Plus, you learn something and it's fun. Why not do this? So if you want to build your own Bitcoin lottery, Raspberry Pi, DIY lottery device, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to have all the links in the description. There's going to be kind of a blog post on my website about how to program the Raspberry Pi. These 3D printing files will be available on Thingiverse and there'll be a list and maybe a instructable as well. So that'll all be in the description. It's all open source. You can modify it, you can make it better. The program's very crude, keep that in mind. But yeah, there you have it. $7 a year, play the lottery. And who knows, maybe Bitcoin will go up or down. All the numbers can change overnight, but it's fun and you learn. So everyone, you know the deal. Be good and have a good day.